Well, I mean, if you're watching this post, uh, there might be a title, and it might say the end. Otherwise, there might just not be a title. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that, honestly. Uh, I have to adjust my camera because something blocking me from being all the way to the right. Previously on Life is Strange. Like that. Yeah, that's not great. I'm just leaving me a little bit. What did you find? There we go. Rachel in the. I try to line up my camera with my TV so it's like I'm like looking like to the left too much. I'm looking more towards you guys. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. That's not what I did. Oh look. The wonder train. What are you doing in my door? My fucking. You are so fucking dead. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria <sighs> has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. In Street Fighter Face came on to do a doggy time, doggy time, you know? Oi, back from that. Anyway, yeah, we're at the final episode. Like, in game episode, no, maybe, maybe not the final episode of the series, I don't know yet. It depends, really. Like, I might end up just knocking it all out in one go, to be honest. Like, I, I'm just kind of in the mood to play this right now. Let's just trap myself because there's a lot of shit I have to deal with right now. I don't, I'm not much of a mood to play with my friends, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, out of all the chapters, it's the one I remember the least. Uh, chapter 4, kinda. But see, everything post chapter 3, I don't really remember. Even partway through 3, I don't remember. Oh, and good news though, we will be starting before the storm very soon, and I'm so excited for that. It's most likely going to be next weekend. The circumstances change, and I have time in the week. Probably won't though, but yeah, we'll see. Also, a few things I got to do later today. seconds guys god damn it
going? Oh, I'm not victorious. What? Where? It's a dark room. Just realized I'm using the wrong controller. shot last night if I could move it towards me are you serious finally I'm free almost Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Okay. Slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Bruh. <laughs> when you're a bit too into photography, am I right? <laughs> Hold that stare there! Jesus. Stay still! I do somewhat like the twist that Jefferson's the bad guy, but he's... Uh, like, the entire personality switch is a bit dumb. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your... first... selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. Fair enough. I'm not a big fan of it. I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who... I was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. Just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed her, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. 
I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. It's surely the long going outside. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one. Always take the shot. the shot. No? Okay. Sorry. Missed opportunity for a gun. That's because I pay more pseudo conscious. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. <coughs> so sick. Mm. Oh, it's another one. Whoa. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay, I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Aww. Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is going to die anymore. Max. Oh, that's because that's so rude. What's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous, but it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Better than I being dead. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Hell yeah. That's 
focus. It might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our... Connection. connection. Yeah, cool, but... You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Yeah. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh. I don't believe in that bullshit. <laughs> she could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. <laughs> That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. 
It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Um, oh. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Cheers. <laughs> that was easy. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a lot of his dialogue here really just sent on to the fact. Right back. right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. <laughs> And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. 
I should be able to track down David's nook found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Sick. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Probably, to be completely honest. Can we it doesn't to? poor Kate. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you oh, see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. The uh, dialogue. Why not? Just Hold thanks. on, Victoria. Are you okay, okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. <laughs> My man. Then I guess I mean, you're I'm a dick, done but talking. My That's man. okay too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. <laughs> no, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I. Uh... I can't prejudge, but I'm very <laughs> so flustered. happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. That dialogue and voice acting has just gone down. I'm gonna be real with this chapter. But it's, it's a bit disappointing. Yeah, that thing happens. Everything right this time. So the uh, part effect is appearing. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, 
you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Careful. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus yeah, on this one for too long. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. It's the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Don't think I'd read all of that, to be honest. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Shut up. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a We're beautiful our descent in a few minutes. Clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. As long as you stay off the booze for a bit, Max. and Prescott's. Things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. I mean, you are. Anyway, this will get us back to where we actually are meant to be, I believe. Yeah. Places like this before, and I've never really got the appeal. I have it's free, or you like buy something to drink while you're there, and like just wander around and buy people's work. That's that I understand, but like paying to like get in shit, that's always somewhat confused me. What's the big deal you can send online? I'm weird. I, I've been to the loop before, and even then, I wasn't I wasn't that overly hyped. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Hell yeah. get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. 
Oh, good, Rose. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many... There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, artists instead. Damn. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Cheers. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Hold on to it. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. How do these galleries afford to rent here? I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who's teenage girl. Artist? I think it's for some content. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. I, I do not understand art. Same voice actress as um, Chloe's mom. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my main man, you're showing some severe interest. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since okay, it began. Okay, your voice annoys me. Oh, you say a lot about I always get so inspired this makes whenever me feel I so sad. Like I was back in high school. Ranks voice sector. Sorry, I stop. God, I love Peter art. Black, Max Caulfield, everyday hero. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Taylor. Okay, no, it's not. That's our paint picture to the Bad left. Look at that last. Bad framing. Bad picture. I could have done this so much better. I hope this is like this is this is like a somewhat I doubt it is, but a somewhat accurate representation of the art world. Yeah, no, I'm good. Do you find it how lovely how ours is the only one that's kinda clear? Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. For a second, You're notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. Uh, you know, <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, goddamn. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh, no, Chloe, where are you? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Her crazy base can be destroyed. And there has to be a way to stop this. For good. Yeah, there is. Uh, are we gonna... Oh. The depth of field, colors, 
Sanders. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35 millimeter lens. You can definitely find out. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I guess everyone. I have to save her. Yeah. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but. Normax Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. There it is. Yeah, the first two attempts wouldn't actually allow me to focus on. Like, I was moving everywhere. I couldn't get past some point. Because then it was going for that scripted event there. on now it feels like reality is breaking apart what am i doing to time i just have to make one simple change so i won't end up in san francisco simple sorry san francisco chloe comes first It doesn't really make sense that we're back in the dark room, because... Yeah, because, um... We handed in the photo after we um, texted Dave and shit, so therefore... Oh, fuck! God, no! I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything! What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my car. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. What's the question? Eat shit and die, yeah. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. I thought it was. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Yeah, well, little death never hurt no way. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. Uh. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, not Victoria. Oh. As if you care. Bruh. Come on, man. Victoria's awesome. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry. I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He no. burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said... Something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, 
It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. Did you just, you know, kill us with a gun? Not a needle? I don't like needles. This final dose won't hurt. What? for one last request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Cover up the sound of him entering. Hold it! What? Throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Stop, 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 I didn't read it. What do you... One last picture of me. I... I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but... I think you've finally learned from me. You really are fucking delusional. Like, come on. Like, let's be real with you. As fucking if. Oh, it's actually a fucking... <laughs> That's quite funny. that one? Five polarized there. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't expect that to actually like trigger anything. He wouldn't be able to reach back here in time by the way. Like, that's established. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. 
what? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! Yeah. You are not going to stop me! David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. <laughs> that dialogue, though. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. Oh. That was the one. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop David, me. kick that table! Yes, sir! <laughs> David Madsen! <laughs> Let me just get this mid fucked over. Jefferson, it's over! <laughs> that easy. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Hey, you, yeah. you. <laughs> he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. I like David, he's Mr. cool. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Oh, that, uh, that, that ain't a good one line, Save idea. Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. The pr David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. Well, you still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. That's and right. Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Hell yeah, David. Me too. And the style of quicker. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys, well... You had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. I'm sure you know I, uh... I hit her the other day. I know you're sorry. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... 
I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. You tried. It's obvious you care. Even if your methods are... Fucked up. I know. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. This is why I like David Chloe, so much. She, like, as a character. She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. <laughs> don't so care where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, yep. I, I we saw, saw the bullet go through her skull. I saw Jefferson Killer in the junkyard last night. Last night, when I was so close to finding out the truth. Jordan, you the truth though. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Do it. <laughs> Give in to the hate. David, wait! Execute Order 66. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's beautiful. Oh, I, I, I reversed that shit, by the way. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. Nah, that's all good. He what deserved it. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Okay, we get the idea. I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. He's gonna kill himself? Jefferson is dead now, but I can still bring Chloe back to life. Actually, no, 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 cancel. How do I cancel it? Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll do the other one. Oh, my only reason I can't be asking until the dialogue. Just, oh God. just not tell him. It's a stupid. Hold on, Max. Fuck. So, where is Chloe? Try hard the truth. Fuck it. David, um. But she was.
pretty stressed out, so um, she went to go um, medicate before I ended up in here. So she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. I might stick with that one. I, d I don't want to break David. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. I, I could have told David the truth. He deserves it. He doesn't, doesn't need it. Uh, we'll go through this cutscene and then we're gonna end the episode. We're about halfway through the chapter. Shall we just get into here? Yeah, we're about halfway through the chapter, so other half will be coming next week, uh, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, really. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, we'll get to the end, and I'll see you then.